Welcome back from a Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, well, one of the methods of creating a glitter like effect, and it really depends on your uh, idea of glitter that uh, uh, if this will be of interest or not. Anyway, this is one way of doing it. And I'm just going to go over now to Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC. And the first step to do, I've actually got a document open, and I'm going to add some grain, some noise. I'm just going to go for the basic one, but you could you could really use the ones in texture. There's grain there. There's also noise here, and I'm just going to go for the basic one. Just a basic noise, Gaussian, monochromatic, and just create some basic noise. We've got this noise here, and once you've done that, actually I quite like one of the filters that's probably not the most popular of filters, poster edges. Now that sounds pretty weird for for this, but Poster edges actually gives you a real nice sort of unusual white structure. So just gonna to all the various grains. You can obviously tweak that bit, but click OK. Right now, now I've done that, I can actually go to the next step, which is filter, and just gonna go for pixelate. Always missed that one. Pointillize. And you can already see you're actually starting to get that sort of glitter like look and you can change obviously the size depending on what glitter you want but I'm just going to go for very fairly small small glitter so just click OK now you could actually create a huge document that's probably going to be the best thing I've actually just created a thousand by thousand not probably big enough for a pattern but it's just a basic start now Edit, define pattern, click OK. Right, so you've actually got your basis for your glitter effect now. And just go to, I'm just going to go to another document which I pre prepared, and this is just some obviously basic text. And I'm just going to A. A layer, layer start, and I'm going to apply that pattern. And there's one I created earlier, very similar sort of thing. When this one's slightly smaller dots. Okay. So now the next thing obviously that you've got that's basically a glitter. You've got a sort of but you might want to say like a single colour. Say you want blue or green or whatever. You can just go to colour overlay. Of course, I've lost the lost the sprinkles. Well, of course you can actually go to the blend mode. And you can just go through, uh, you've got darken, maybe not very effective, plus I don't think grey is going to be the greatest one of glitter. So I'm just going to, just going to change that, maybe blue. So you've got some blue glitter, mm, sort of. Darken, multiply, that's it, getting there. Now probably colour burn. Is probably one of the better ones. I think that's quite a nice glitter. You can still see, you can see the white. You've got the shimmer, but you can of course go through some of the others. Just quickly try linear burn. Which ones you actually think makes the best glitter? Obviously, that's not so effective. Soft light, maybe, maybe not. Vivid light, no. But I, th I think the color burn possibly is the best one. Click OK and that's it. You've actually got your glitter effect. And of course there's lots of ways of doing this. So you can combine other different things, but you basically want the obviously the little dots from noise. And that's probably going to be the best way of doing it. You could of course create your own dots using a paintbrush. Takes a bit of time, I expect, doing it, but you could do it. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. I'm always adding new tutorials every couple of days. Thank you much.